Welcome, everyone. Glad that you're here. Uh, let me encourage every one of you to grab one of those uh, cards that, that's in front of you, the welcome card, and put down a prayer request, something that I could be praying for you about. If you're new, if you could fill that out, um, that would be great. In your bulletin, there's a, a bunch of announcements. This week, uh, we are uh, partnering with Life Builders now through November 29th, and we are helping them with their toy drives. So if you could be a part of that, that would be great. This Wednesday at 7 o'clock is probably one of my favorite services. It's our Thanksgiving Eve service, and it truly is a great time to prepare your heart for Thanksgiving. You come and give thanks, and so that would be a great thing if you could make it. Service is only an hour. We, we you know, we're not, don't do any singing. We just come in, and we read some scripture, and we start to give thanks. It's, it's a great time. I want to say um, a huge thank you for everyone that was here yesterday. Uh, we did a, um, a Syrian refugee crisis awareness time uh, yesterday, and we had 71 people here that really spent the whole day putting it all together, and they did an absolutely great job. So I'm thankful for them, and, and uh, I think over 150 people that came and were part of it. I appreciate uh, them being there and, and you being there for that. Uh, next week, we have uh, what's called family worship, so the kids will be in with us here as we worship the Lord. At this time, let's stand and let's uh, worship the Lord together. Wasn't it a beautiful morning out there this morning? I, I hope you uh, didn't grumble about the snow, but we're thankful to see the beauty of it. It really was uh, an amazing thing. A couple of announcements before we go to the Lord in prayer. In front of you is an offering envelope that for the uh, offering we're going to take at the end of the service for the refugee crisis response. So just so you know, that is in front of you. Um, I want to remind everybody of the children's Christmas program that's coming up December 13th. This is a great opportunity to invite people out, uh, relatives, neighbors. It's, it's a great chance to get people out to, to have them uh, hear the Christmas story and to hear the gospel of our salvation. So just want you to take full advantage of that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Father, we do come before you and uh, just thank you, Lord, for the beauty of the day. Thank you for your goodness in so many ways. And as we really prepare for Thanksgiving, uh, I, I would pray that you would work in our hearts in, a, in an extra special way uh, today through your word. Lord, uh, you have been so good, and, and yet there's so much crisis that goes on in the world. We continue to pray for what's going on in France and really all of Europe with the terrorist crisis that they have there. I pray for them that you would give the leaders wisdom and that you would work and that e even through this, that, uh, Lord, as your word says in Luke 13, that it would be a chance for people to repent and to turn to you. So I just lift those folks up to you, and we pray that you would give wisdom to President Obama and lead him and all that govern this land, and that uh, they would keep us safe and that we could live quiet and peaceable lives. Father, you know every heart. You know what's going on with people, and so I pray that you would work. I pray for those that are going to be traveling during the Thanksgiving season, that you would uh, give them uh, safety. Lord, again, we thank you for yesterday and just the, uh, just the awareness that we have of those that are in need. And so I pray that you would, uh, you would move us uh, to, to care for people. So, Lord, we, we come. We pray that you would do your work. Thank you for this privilege to give. When we give, Lord, it's an acknowledgement you're the giver of everything. You're the one that gives us the ability to produce wealth, and we worship you by giving back to you. So take these gifts and use them not only to do ministry here, but around the world for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.